more than 20 years ago, California stepped up, took leadership, and decided that sick patients should be allowed to have access to medical cannabis. That includes children suffering with epilepsy, adults fighting cancer, and patients dealing with chronic pain. Since then, bringing us fast forward to today, 29 states representing more than half the country either allow medical or adult use cannabis. I think that the actions last week of the United States Attorney General are counterproductive. They, in that they impose the threat of federal prosecution on some of the folks I just discussed and, and more, and they take us back 20 years to before passage of 215, the Compassionate Use Act. It's not only a misguided policy, but in my view, it's inhumane and it's wrong. And I certainly understand the importance of creating policy that protects public safety. We've worked hard to do that through the MCRSA, uh, that protects consumers, that protects the environment, and protects businesses as well. And I'm committed to defending the will of 50%, 57% of Californians who voted to legalize the adult use of cannabis. I've introduced AB 1793, which will simplify and expedite the pathway for Californians to make a fresh start by having certain criminal convictions for cannabis-related offenses removed from or reduced on their records. Proposition 64, as we know, contained a provision that not only reduced or eliminated many marijuana law violations, it made those changes retroactive. That means that people with felonies or misdemeanors on their records are now, under the law, legally entitled to ask the courts to expunge or reduce those criminal records. But let's be honest here, navigating the legal systems, bureaucracies can be confusing, it can be costly, and it can be time consuming. In short, it's overly burdensome for individuals. AB 1793, will help legally entitled Californians take advantage of this opportunity to clear their own records by removing barriers and streamlining the process. It will require automatic expungement of these outdated criminal convictions and shift the burden from the individual who now has fees to pay, potential uh, requirement of, uh, or decision to hire an attorney, uh, multiple delay, potentially multiple court appearances that will move those burdens from the individual and place on the government the burden of honoring the will of the voters and automatically expunging or reducing these crimes. It will give, through this process, folks who deserve it under the law the fresh start that they're entitled to and allow them to turn the page and move on with their lives. Anyone in California who has a cannabis offense on their record has the legal right and the ability to go back and get that taken off their record. And it was, uh, that was news to people who generally are pretty plugged in. The war on drugs unjustly and disproportionately targeted young people of color for enforcement and prosecution. And long after paying their debt to society, the collateral consequences of having a criminal conviction continues. We all know this. It disrupts the lives of individuals in profound ways, such as preventing them from gaining gainful employment or having a safe, secure roof over their head and seeking housing. In my view, the role of government should be to ease burdens and expedite the operation of existing law, not create unneeded obstacles and barriers.